So we're doing something very exciting today. Um, I'm going to get lip injections. So I'm going to someone that has been recommended me by a couple friends and I'm gonna get, take you guys on the kind of journey and see what it's like. This is my first time ever getting any kind of cosmetic surgery, well not surgery, but you know, enhancement. So I'm really excited and hopefully it goes well. Um, but I just thought it'd be really good to kind of document the process, maybe if people don't really know what goes into it. Um, yeah, this will kind of be like my first hand experience of the first time ever getting lip injections. <gasps> Yay! Okay, see ya! <laughs> so this is immediately after um it hasn't even been an hour but you can see this part of my face is still very numb i can even talk with this half because um she did like a prick test and like I could still feel the needle in this side, so we put a little bit more um, numbing in this, like these two parts of my gums. Um, so this part is a little bit swollen as well. <laughs> but yeah. Hi guys, so I thought I would update you on my lips. It is now um, eight o'clock at night, so it hasn't even been 12 hours yet. Sorry if the camera's a bit shaky, but they've already started going down. As you can see, there's only a tiny bit of discoloration just here. So I have a feeling that's going to bruise overnight. But all of today, I didn't have any bruising and um, they weren't very swollen for very long at all. Like I had probably two, three hours max of being quite like swollen and like very numb around here. But then um, I was just at work and I could talk to people fine and I was talking like I am now so I'm still a little bit puffy and obviously they probably will swell over the next couple of days but I'm actually shocked <laughs> at how little they've reacted yet because um, I have friends who said they couldn't talk for three days and things like that. So this is just a little update on me tonight and we'll have a look at them tomorrow. So I was just getting ready and I thought I would show you my lips today before I put any products on them. They're still looking a little bit swollen, um, but they didn't really bruise overnight, which I'm really happy about. I just have this one little dot, where obviously there was one injection spot that has gone a little bit darker, but really they haven't bruised as much as any like I've ever seen anyone. So I'm really happy with that. Like, um, I've been following Yuki tutorials and she just got her lips done and her lips are so bruised and they're so purple and I haven't had that happen yet so that was really good news for me. Um, but obviously over the next couple of days they'll still keep on going down. Um, but I haven't had any pain, I haven't been really noticing them at all. Um, it was just kind of when I was eating dinner last night, I kind of felt like weird chewing but that was fine, it's normal. So yeah! I'll update you in a couple of days I guess because so far so good and they're doing really really well. It's been over a week since I've had my lips done. Um, I love them. I really like really love them. I'll just explain kind of like the whole process like what happened, what I did. So I went to see um, a lady called Michelle who works at About Face Skin. Um, I tagged them on my Instagram, so if you ever want to know like who it is, it's on my Instagram. So she kind of explained to me that like obviously the product that gets injected into your lips is like it disintegrates throughout time, like it it goes away, it won't leave your lips like deflated or anything like that, because that's what lots of people think is going to happen to your lips once you get them done. Is like they're going to like deflate and then never be the same, but your lips will just go back to normal. 
So I got a product called Emmerville, which is from the Restylane range. It's slightly more expensive than some other products, but um, it apparently has less swelling, less bruising, and I can definitely, um, definitely testify to the fact that there wasn't very much swelling at all, and um, even the bruising was quite minimal. So that's good. So on the day, um, I got one meal, so half in each lip, obviously. Um, and then, like, the hour or two afterwards, my lips were just so big and so swollen, and I, I was like a duck. I, like, I tried to film something, but I just, like, could not stop laughing at myself. So what happens is they will inject a dental block first, which is, like, a numbing agent that, um, like, dentists use. So one here one here, one here, one here, like inside your mouth, like in your gums. So in your gums, um, and what that will do after a while is just completely numb all the area around your lips so that you can't feel any of the injections. Um, people say that this is like obviously the worst part because you can feel it, but um, the, the actual injection doesn't really hurt, it's just the, the actual product going into your gum that kind of stings a little bit but um she was like oh do you want to hold like a ball to like squeeze so I was like freaking out going oh my god it's gonna be so bad but actually it wasn't it was just like going to the dentist like it's a little bit of a pinch but wasn't too bad at all so she numbed my lips first with the injections and then um she does like a little prick test so gets a needle and pins little pricks all over your lips and ask you if you can feel it. So most of my lips were completely numb except for I think this side. Um, they weren't going quite as numb as this side so she said we would just inject a little bit more of the numbing agent so I got two more injections in these sides. Um, so like in the video of me afterwards I can't move this side of my mouth because it's still completely numb. So I'm talking like this and it's so funny. Once my lips were completely numb, then she just started injecting and you can't feel a thing. So that's good. Like you can't feel it at all. It didn't hurt. Um, even afterwards it didn't hurt at all. Um, so yeah, that's a really good positive thing. Like it doesn't actually hurt because lots of people I know have said it's the most like painful thing ever, but no, it wasn't. Straight after like, for the next two hours or so my lips just ballooned got really really big and swollen um i couldn't really talk for a, like an hour or so because my lips were still like this um but after that it was actually all good i went to work that day um and they were just a little bit like swollen they were just a little bit puffy um but i could still talk to people so that was fine and then the next few days they continued to kind of go down so they're only really were at their biggest for probably two or three hours. Um, after that, for the next couple of days, they just kept on going down and down. The next few days after that, they started just settling in, so um, you can still kind of feel um, like little pockets of where the, the um, Emma Bell is. So I have one slightly harder pocket here, and I have one slightly harder pocket here. But obviously those, um, they go away after a while. It's just um, you gotta let them obviously settle. And it's been a week now, and now I can like completely like I can smush my lips together. I can't really feel them at all. Um, it's just like it's kind of like if you run your tongue along the inside of my lip, I guess. Like if I do that, I can kind of feel where it's slightly bigger, but that should go away. Overall, it was just like a really good experience. Like I wasn't scared. It was just really good. I just had one little bruise right in the center of my lip, almost just like a tiny little dot. And then one right underneath. So it was just like a dot. It looked like I almost had like a lip piercing that had healed. Like it was just two little dots right there. And then I think on the Thursday, so six days later, I got a tiny little bit of just purple on the side of my lip but honestly you could not even notice it unless um obviously like, I pointed it out so that's really good um I was able to wear lipstick and makeup and you wouldn't be able to tell so that's awesome 
I'm so happy. So I would really recommend doing this if um, you want larger lips, I guess. Um, this wasn't because I didn't like my lips before at all. It was just because I was kind of tired of like overdrawing them all the time when I did my makeup. So now I don't have to overdraw them and I really love them. That's my lip injection story. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Either comment on my Instagram or on this video and I'll do my best to answer any questions. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye.